Welcome everyone for another recap of the Hattrick Masters. This time me and Daniel will be doing the recap for rounds 3 and 4 of the Hattrick Masters after Daniel's streams. Daniel, welcome back in the show. Hi Michael, thanks for inviting me to this video and thanks for letting me speaking about Hattrick Masters matches. My pleasure. Boy oh boy how much statistic do we have for you. We'll be talking about the highest ratings, the biggest upsets, something interesting, fun facts and double ratings. Daniel, are you ready for round number three? Yes, I am ready. In round number three, the biggest rating for a single team was Barry Balki's 595 head stats. They just devoured their Malaysian Tigers by headstats, but won the game merely 2-1. to one. They are the champion of Poland and I think one of the strongest teams. Yeah, we'll speak about this later. Um, speaking about biggest upsets, so Rusty Nail, they lost 2-5 to, to Team Haji Academy. Haji Academy are a long shot team. The uh, headstats difference was 112 and Haji Academy won this game 5-2. to two. They are the last standing long shot team in this turn, in this season of Patrick Masters. Uh, and I wouldn't say that they were stronger in this match in any way, but they won. Speaking about a fun fact, I don't know if it was fun for the uh, for the managers of both teams, but Team OZA from Israel winning a penalty matchup against Team Borussia. And speaking about the future, they will be playing another penalty shootout in the fourth round as well. Yeah, it was definitely not good for the streamers because penalty shootouts takes extremely long time on the stream. Yeah, well, we'll speak about long penalty shootouts in a moment because um, that wasn't the worst that happened to you during the stream. Um, but speaking about something interesting, we had a war between two countries. We had Canada and India playing two games, one against the other. Uh, yes, it was uh, Mahato Memorial, former Masters winner against Oban United. And in this match, the uh, Indian team won. And the other match was Phoebe United against Rush to win, where the Indian long shot team lost against the Canadian team. But anyway, the war was ended with double loss because in the last round, both teams just went out of Masters. Well, at least they finished the war in a draw, and we are uh, peaceful people here. Biggest double head stats in round number three. We have Team Tupi against Real Fetty, and the combined head stat was 1104. Yeah, and I fear that still the numbers is going down. I think uh, in the first two rounds, uh, teams feel half the mods, and some teams which are going out still playing mods and that makes those rounds much uh, stronger than the middle rounds and around the semi-final and the final will produce much much more stats yeah hopefully i hope so too from my master's experience sometimes you are dealing with a strong opponent in the beginning of the tournament and you just need to mod the game to go through and that will conclude now round number three stay tuned for round number four and now it's time for round number four. For the highest rating in this round was Team Barry Balki with 580 headstats. Their opponent was uh, Hungarian champion Savaria Regio. They tried to play a counter attack on this match. This was probably the only tactic they could play against this strong, strong team, but it only went well for 43 minutes. And yeah. they got three other goals. And Barry Balki, they were the highest rated uh, team in round number three. Talking about the upsets, so in this team, Team Breeze, they were playing against Team uh, Seth Bartom and they won 4-0 four, four in this game. And Daniel, it doesn't look like an upset really. There was no really upset in, in round 4, teams are so close to each other. But in this scenario, I think the uh, Longshot's team was better, at least slightly better. And usually, with these ratings, better midfield and better defenses, they won them their matches and they got higher possession and still got less chances uh, 
eight against five, I think, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, against and, three. And the four goals was in five minutes. I was streaming this match live, and I was just shouting, the goal, another goal, one more chance. Are this brother coming back? No, it's a Bryce goal. So this epic battle against the cup winners of Russia and France ended up in a brutal victory. Seabarton would want to forget those five minutes ever existed. And for a fun fact, Team Koirayla winning 4-0 against the Clappers. Uh, Daniel, what's so fun about this game? Uh, this game, Koirayla clapped the Clappers 4-0. And in the previous round, Clappers was clapping another team for 5-0. So it's just the luck turns against them, who I say. Our interesting match is this game. It's Team Haji playing against Nak Mak. Daniel. We were speaking about penalty shootouts and long penalty shootouts. I know this game took a toll on you. Tell us what it was. Yeah, because this is the ever longest penalty shootout can happen in Hattrick. Because all 22 shots were sh goal. So this match ended up with a coin flip, actually. Not a coin flip match where you have 50-50 chance to win. But when the match engine just threw a coin and deciding who is winning the game. Yeah. Is this actually random, Michael? Well, in my experience, I was thinking that the youngest team will always win because I had two coin flips and always the younger team would win. On the other side, there were people saying that the team with the highest or the lowest match ID would win and we have examples for both sides. So maybe eventually it is a coin flip. And for the highest double ratings of this round, we have team Pastempo against Petrum, and the highest combined rating is 1084. Well, I, I don't know what to say about this match. It's quite strong, each team. Pastempo has uh, home ground, um, inner midfielders, but decided to play counter attacks on this match, uh, which didn't went well. So maybe if they just try to use their strength instead of trying to play in counter attack. Yeah, definitely. Two, two strong teams, two strong teams, and Spectrum, they are going forward. And that will conclude for us round number four. And just to summarize everything, Daniel, our stats guy, produced a power ranking of the remaining 16 teams of Hattrick Masters. So, Daniel, what could you say about the strongest team that remain in the Hattrick Masters? Yeah, uh, we tried to find out which could be the fourth team ending up uh, in the semi-finals, but actually found five, which are the strongest. And all of those, Bali Balki is the highest uh, in power rankings. 581 average has stats over four matches in Masters this season from Poland. The second, Spantrup IF from Denmark uh, has 566, as you can see in the list. Uh, and on the third place there is a tie between FC Wolves and Koila and Koila, 550. And the last place on this power rankings, on the top power rankings, is for Dragmon FC, 540. And we have still other 11 teams, so I will be really curious if any of these teams or all of these teams can make to the semi-finals and eventually winning Hattrick Masters in 70, uh, season 71. That's just crazy. Those ratings, 581 uh, average rating for four games. Just imagine producing those kind of ratings game after game. I would be watching Daniel's stream on Monday and I want to invite everyone to watch it as well to see if those teams could go forward. And also, don't forget, we'll be seeing you in our next recap of the round, last round of 16 and also the quarter finals. Daniel, thank you so much for doing this another video with me. Thank you, Michael. Thank you very much. And for everyone, just remember, Hattrick is more than a game, it's a community. Me and Daniel, we'll see you around. Bye-bye. See you around. Goodbye.